Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider Underworld. This is Cisco, and uh, we're going to continue where I left off. Still feeling a little under the weather, but... Eh. Just going to play. And, uh... Continue to admire how good this game looks. I mean, the textures just look really good. Um... And if you also if you've also noticed the uh, flashlight doesn't have a battery meter, so you know you don't keep running out of battery for your flashlight and have to keep on turning off, turning it off, and turning it back on. I thought that was a really smart change they made. I need to figure out uh, what exactly I'm doing here. Um. trick here. Hmm. Damn camera. Hello, Kim Kardashian. Missing something. Can I jump up on that? No, hanging. Peculiar. Oh. That was stupid. Well, there you go. That's Tomb Raider Underworld for you. Right under my nose. I know. Have we already died? I already forgot if we died yet. Hello. I was just chilling right there with that uh, spikes, that spiky thing right all over his head. I hope it's as blind as it looks. So obviously, we gotta drop that thing on the the Kraken's head in order to kill it. Simple enough. Let's see how quickly we can get this done. I'm still pretty under the weather. I'll probably stop after. Eh, I'll give it an. I'll give another hour of let's playing. There is a Ravens game later today. Yes, pole jumping is back in this game. It's a little bit better than in um, Tomb Raider Legend. A little bit better. They got the controls a little bit better. This is 
going to be a close one. Not all the way down. Steady. I meant to do that. I like how Laura looks disappointed in, in me. Standing like that. Get some light in here. At least that didn't kill us. I don't know how close to that water I want to get. Start to see why. Here we go. This is the room we're supposed to go to. I gotta get the Kraken's arm out of that thing. That's where I was supposed to go. On the other side of the the large room, there's an, another room similar to this one, where I gotta un dislodge his um, tentacle. Oh yeah, and unlock that little uh, kraken trap. And then we'll be well on our way. I just, I just found out the other day that the uh, new Tomb Raider game might have uh, multiplayer in it, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to be careful walking around this tentacle here. I don't know if it lashes out of me or not. And I like how Laura's barefoot. Cog is in place. And now we are ready to execute this thing. Like I said, it's cool. It's cool that the uh, exploration aspect is back in the game, but I'm gonna climb back up because I don't feel like looking for any hidden items. I don't want to bore you guys that much. Here we go. 
I gotta shoot these chains, I believe, but... Yeah, it's not... Yeah, I gotta raise it first. You'd think the Kraken would have moved by now, but... The Kraken doesn't hear any of this at all. Okay. And the Kraken dead. Too easy. Too, too easy. Oh, there's a switch. Tells me I shouldn't go down there. Aha! It's another new mechanic, I believe. The controls are a little hokey, but for the most part, if you aim the analog stick in the right direction, she'll go there. Sometimes, um,. It it's some it gets stuck. Hmm. Whoa. I'll just I'll take the easy way. <laughs> Looks like we're getting somewhere. Where are we? Thor, the Norse god of thunder. And an Avenger. Whatever are you doing down here in Niflheim? According to the Eddas, Thor needed special iron gauntlets to wield his mighty hammer, Mjolnir. Could it be? It could be. You know what? I think I'm going to stop the video here and continue. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, see ya.